And Isaac smelled him and said, See the smell of my son as the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. You will smell well. When I pray for you, make sure you say amen. You will smell well. Everywhere you go and people feel you, they will love you. And they will bless you. Amen. He said, therefore, I'm reading from verse 27, Genesis 27, from verse 27. Sit down. 2023 is coming. Amen. And it's going to be a very difficult year for people. But those of us that live in Goshen, it's going to be a very beautiful year for us. Amen. You will not die their death. Amen. You will not suffer what they will suffer. Amen. Gross darkness may cover the earth. You will be exempted. Amen. Because in the book of Exodus, the Bible tells us that there was darkness in Egypt. But there was light in Goshen. We are the children of Israel. So get ready for divine exemption. Amen. Amen. No matter how cheap evil may be, you and Amen. I will not be able to afford it. Amen. Amen. That's your amen didn't sound as if you know what I'm talking about. Amen. In 2023, you will not cry. You will not mourn. Amen. You will leave your mates behind. Amen. God will give you speed. Amen. God will be unusually kind to you. Amen. God will send you marvelous help. Amen. People will look for you to bless you. Twenty-three will be the year you have been waiting for. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout one big amen. amen. Take your seat. Somebody says, why do they shout in church? Because the shouting camp is the winning camp. Yes. It is when people lose that they, they are quiet. Oh yeah. yeah. What cup is going on now in Qatar? Do you see the noise? When there is a goal, the winning come, shout. It's a reflex action. Amen. But those that are losing, see, even their even their coach, you are in the winning camp, yeah. and you will continue to win yeah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Genesis twenty-seven. Beginning from verse 27 is the prayer I want to pray for you. Amen. He came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him. A cause is the absence of blessing. People operate under a cause because a blessing is missing. I came here this morning to put a blessing on your life. Amen. Receive it. I receive it. See the smell of my son as the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. 28. Therefore, everybody said, therefore. Therefore. God give thee of the dew of heaven. Say number one. Number one. And the fatness of the earth. Say number two. Number two. And plenty of corn and wine. Say number three. Number three. That's it. God give you Amen. the dew of heaven. Amen. Fatness of the earth. Amen. Fatness. But they said there is scarcity. Mm. 
They, when they say inflation, it doesn't mean that money disappeared. It just means that money changed hands. That's the meaning. Uh. It's not that somebody appeared and carried the money and took it to heaven. No. The same quantity of money is still here. It's just that it left some people's hands. Mm. Transfer of wealth. Mm. Mm. Fatness. This earth is fat. Everything you look at tells you that this, this land, this earth is fat. Look Amen. outside. See the green grass. Amen. Look at it. In Nigeria, you can travel kilometers. And you just see green grass, green grass. It speaks about abundance, abundance. Look at the boss of the air. Look at the fish in the ocean. Abundance, abundance. Ab Even your safari here. Look at everywhere. God is just saying something. Look, there is what you call fatness, fatness, fatness. You're not supposed to be broke. Amen. You're not supposed to be poor. Amen. No, you're not. Fatness. The earth is fat. Amen. People are enjoying my husband and I went on vacation some time ago for just seven days. We were on a ship. We call it ship cruise. We went from, from England and the ship passed through Paris, passed through Portugal, passed through another whatever before we returned. That ship, we were like 4,000 people. Mm. Ship. Mm. We had our room, we had the balcony. Floss. There were about 12 restaurants mm. on that ship. Mm. Wi Fi was on that ship. Every evening, we will go to the theater to watch a movie. Mm. There were some sections that we watched dancers from different parts of the world. They were dancing. Swimming pools, plenty. Children's play area, plenty. Some people are jumping life. Abuse them. They know here. They day inside sheep. One man said to us, I've been here 52 days. I always put my lead together. I just come here to enjoy even my coach said that's what he does every January. He goes on the ship for two weeks just to enjoy himself. You see, you know why people criticize people? When you see somebody that is living the life you want to live and you don't understand how the person is doing it. It's true. I've been there before. I've been poor before. I know it. Frustrated people always criticize elevated people. Always. When you see people that are living their lives and you don't know how you criticize them. You see a very rich man. You say, he's, he's into the cult. Do you notice that he wears white? You'll be criticizing. Right, sir, Robbie. The man doesn't even know you are criticizing him. Because the more you criticize him, the more he rises. There is something on this planet Earth. It is called fatness. There's money here. There's one man called Steve Harvey. Maybe you watch him. I watch him a lot. Good. My family is there. Steve Harvey said one day, he asked himself, how many people are on planet Earth? Almost 7 billion people. Then he said, how many plots of land do we have on earth? He found out. He now divided it by the number of people on earth. He said, I'm entitled to at least one acre, six plots. Mm, mm, mm. I should have land. Mm. As we speak, he has more than the six plots. Because poor people are more than rich people on earth. So their voice is louder. It's a common sense. Common sense. Because there are plenty. 
<laughs> For rich people, yeah. I came here to say something to your spirit yes. and you are. to your mind. You are. Romans chapter 12, your mind needs to be renewed. Amen. There is fatness on this earth. Amen. If you sow cloth, you can prosper. Amen. If you are here silent, you can prosper. You are severe, you can prosper. You just want God to open your eyes of understanding Amen. to know Amen. what to do. And I have brought the dimension of blessings this morning. Watch your life and watch this ministry from this point. Amen. Fatness. Amen. Fatness. Amen. Fatness. Amen. Amen. That's what I have left with you. Amen. In this season. Amen. Be blessed. Amen.